Hey movers and shakers, how the heck are you? Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use a cube sheet. Now I can't actually go to somebody's house and show you how to use a cube sheet, but I'm going to show you the next best thing. In fact, I actually use this particular method of using a cube sheet when I do my, uh, before I do an in-home estimate. And it's something that you guys could be doing. It's a nice little tool. So I'm going to show you because I've been being asked quite a bit, how, Jay, how do I use a cube sheet? How do I do an estimate? Well, here's how you do an estimate. Hi guys, I'm Jay Burnham and this is the Seven Figure Moving Academy. How are you guys doing today? So glad to hear. If you're not yet subscribed, go hit the subscribe button down below. Make sure you hit the bell icon and so that you can be up uh, notified when we update and upload a new video. Most of you guys uh, who watch this video are not subscribed. We're getting far more people watching the, the YouTube channel than are subscribed. So if you like these videos, subscribe to the channel, please, and thank you. For those guys who are subscribed, thank you so much. Glad to have you guys here. So today we're going to be talking about how to use a cube sheet when you go and do your estimates. By using a cube sheet or an inventory sheet, whatever you want to use, uh, call it, that's fine. In, in the moving world, it's called a cube sheet, but I like to call it an inventory sheet when I'm out with the customer because the customer is not going to understand what a cube is or why we call it a cube sheet. But if you call it an inventory sheet, then they can get an, uh, their idea around it. So I would suggest that you would change the name or how what you call a cube sheet into inventory sheet. Or if you have some other uh, clever name that's just as uh, good, go ahead, by all means, use that, um, so on and so forth, okay? So let's go, and now let's actually go do a, uh, a cube sheet. Let's go do an inventory sheet. So um, let me get myself off to the side here, down over there. There we go. Bring up my uh, thing. And here we go. I just pulled up a, a random... Uh, address that I got from one of my list off of USA Home Listings. This was one of the listings that I checked to see if it was there. So what I do is I go on and before I send them any of my mailings, I check to see if the house is actually furnished or not, if there's somebody living there or not, right? So I come here, I check it out, I just go through the photos and we can see that this house literally does have, it's furnished, people are living there. So if I send uh, a, a letter to these guys at this address, I know that somebody's going to get there and get my letter. And that's what I want. That's why I'm not wasting mailings. But that's an aside note. That is just something aside for you guys in the future. But let's actually go and uh, do a cube sheet here. So what I like to do is I like to come in and I, I hit the picture and then my pictures come up. I want to see the large pictures, right? I want to see what's going on with the large pictures. I want to see everything. Obviously, this picture here doesn't have any furniture in it, but it does have a rug. So I've got my cube sheet. I pull it up. I see that it has a rug. I go down to the rugs on my cube sheet. And oh, we're, oh I've got to move up on my here. Uh, see rug. It's a small rug. I hit one. I just put one there. Boom. Done. Okay minimize it i go to the next picture okay no furniture in that one. Oh, here we go we're in a bedroom so here right here in the corner of this picture we see a dresser looks like a vanity dresser we got two nightstands two table lamps and this is probably a queen size bed so that's what we're going to do so we're going to go into the bedrooms a section of it one queen side boom good we know that there's two uh uh, table lamps, so we're going to put two. We know there's two night tables, boom, and then we come up to the dressers, and you can see single, double, triple, vanity. That's a vanity dresser. We put one because that's all that we see in that picture. Good. Let's go back to the pictures again. See how we did that? Now we can see in the, we don't see the, the how many boxes or anything like that, so we can't really do anything like that. So we're going over here. It was a vanity dresser, but it also has a TV. Okay, good. That's a TV. It's about a 40-some inch TV. We come here to the thing. Um, less than 42 inches. I'd say it's about 42 inches. So we're just going to put one. Good. Now I put a TV there. Um, and so on, so on and so forth. Now we're going through. Here we got a baby's room. 
We got a little day bed, a little vanity dresser, a crib, a little rug, chair. And then what I would do is I would just go through um, uh, so on and so forth. I would just go through the, the, the inventory sheet going picture by picture. And whatever I see in, it, like that second picture, we see another vanity dresser. So I would put a two there because now we have two vanity dressers. Um, we have a, a single bed there. So boom, we got a single bed, put one. We had a crib there, so we come down here to a crib. Uh, baby carriage, crib, 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 baby bed, youth bed, do, 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 do. it doesn't have crib, baby crib. There you go, boom, like that. And you just go through every single picture, adding up everything. So if you got more than one thing, just add it. So like, let's say we got uh, a more table lamp, one more table lamp in that picture. I wouldn't then put a three there. Okay, and then you come down to the bottom, and in this one, we got an example. Let's say this has seven rooms, and that includes bathrooms, bedrooms, kitchen, living room, etc. Good, so we know, okay, the estimated number of boxes is going to be 110. The, that already populates down here. Um, you're probably going to have some dish packs, so I'm going to say, let's say five dish packs, uh, like that, so we can get rid of, you know... We'll probably have some wardrobe boxes, let's say 10, boom, that adds to it. And then it comes down here and adds up all the cubes from all the different columns. Gives you a, a, a total of a, the total number of uh, cubic feet, and then it times it by 7. See, it says 7 pounds times uh, uh, cubic feet, right? So we go 7 times, 7 times the cubic feet, so 9, 24 times 7, gives us an estimated weight. In this example of 6,400 pounds. So we now know that it's going to be 6,400 pounds. Okay, based on your calculations, how long does it take to do 6,400 pounds? You don't know? Well, you should know. This is something you, you should know. But 60, let's just use the calculation of 500 pounds that can be loaded and unloaded per person per hour. So one guy, and this is making sure that they're Laying all, all the floor runners, they're uh, protecting the floors and walls and stair uh, uh, rails. They're putting on, they're wrapping all the furniture like they're supposed to. I mean, they're going all out to make sure. So this is all, everything encompasses it, just picking something up and putting it down again. Now, I know some of you can do it. If you're just going to pick something up, put it down again, throw, a, throw a, a blanket on it and just call it good. Yes, you can do a lot more and a lot, one person can do definitely a lot more than 500 pounds per hour. I totally understand that. We're not, that's a whole different argument. For this purposes, we're going to use the standard 500 per pound, uh, 500 pounds per guy per hour, right? You got two guys on the job. It's going to take six hours to load and, uh, you know, probably six hours to unload using that. So you're looking at 12 hours. Obviously, you shouldn't take that long. It should take only about six to eight hours, but you get the idea. You can use your calculation and go, okay, good, that's going to be one truck. It's going to be about eight hours. So if you're using your hourly figure, you can go, okay, it's going to be eight hours. So um, we know that our price is 100 bucks an hour. It's going to be eight hours, $800, plus whatever travel fee you got and blah, blah, blah. However you guys are doing If you're doing it based on hourly or flat rate, if you were doing it flat rate, I'd probably, okay, six to eight hours to do the move. I would probably add a couple hours to that and make it a, a complete 10 Make it a thousand dollars, bada boom, bada bing, you're you're golden. Okay? And I know there's a lot of ways to do pricing. I'm not gonna get into pricing, but this is how you basically do a cube sheet. You just go through the entire thing. You got a dining room table? Good. One. They got two dining room tables. Fine. Add it add a dining room. How many chairs do they got? Do they got a pie rack? Do they got a service card? A tea rug? A tea car? <clears throat> rug. Is it a small or a large rug? You know, tables, kitchen tables, is large or small, how many chairs, tackle box, and you just add it up. And the cube sheet will do, should, if it's done right, will do all your calculations for you. that will give you the weight, and then from the weight, you can then determine how long and what kind of equipment that you need for your video. Let me get rid of this over here. All right, get all these bothering me here on the thing. Hello, Jay. Hello. Everybody's trying to talk to me. Hello. Hello. Good, good. Uh, hmm. Okay, good. So there you guys go. Um, and that's basically how you guys do a cube sheet, right? That's how 
very easy. So guys, that's I just wanted to do this quick video. Use this cream sheet however you want. If you're a part of the Seven Figure Moody Academy Facebook group, you can go and download a copy of the cube sheet or inventory sheet for free. Feel free to go into that, download it, put it on your desktop, put it on your phone, put it on your uh, tablet, whatever you got. And then, and when you go and do an estimate, boom. Now, here's a little trick. If you send your customer this, a link to this, uh, or a, as an attachment in an email, you can tell your customer to go do this on their own. And then they can do it, and they can do all the stuff. And if they get, if they have any questions, say fine, that's no problem. Don't worry about it. If you got any questions, just send it back to me once in a while. And there you go. And that's how you get a kitchen done. And you don't have to do much work at all. So if you're on the trucks and you don't got a lot of time to do it, that's okay. Send it to the customer. Have them fill it out as best they can. And then when you go and do an, when you go and do an in-home, in-home inspection, you can just verify your uh, findings with this okay anyway guys hopefully that was helpful let me bring myself back up okay good so if you like this video give me a thumbs up if not i don't know why you're watching this video this long but guys make sure you subscribe to this channel hope to see you guys in the seven figure movie academy facebook group and guys i love you i like you do good move well be happy thanks guys have a great day Bye bye